really what opens your eyes to this is let's compare the two. This is a video of the first flight of 1908 from the Wright brothers. And I even got the colorized version to lessen the depressingness of this film. You see a couple hundred, maybe a thousand or so crowds just sitting around. Mostly looks very hoity-toity. Now just look at the crowd here, at the apparent making of history of the successful first man flight. They could care less. The moment that thing got off the ground, they turned around and started walking back. No fist pumps, no claps. They looked like they barely wanted to be there. And the crowds... Well, let's compare that to the crowds an airship gathered. After several decades of already being around, this is the crowds from the Zeppelin, the Graf Zeppelin of 1929's flight. Several decades from the Wright brothers. I think this little section alone shatters the attendance uh, of the Wright Brothers' first flight. Our perception of history is everything. And they told us exactly what to look, and exactly what to think. History is nothing more than a set of lies agreed upon. A set of lies that they agreed upon. That's definitely no rickety barn that they're dragging this one out of. Look at them all dancing around, waving and happy and cheerful. Now those people look like they want to be here. And this is just a random Passover spot on the Zeppelin's flight. Crowds would gather around just to sneak a peek at it. Far more versatile and far less restrictive. And why do you think the controllers got rid of them? Question everything, friends.